Hi friends, today I welcome you all in my playlist of Rasa. Today I am going to tell you about our first offline chatbot framework which is Rasa. As per the definition it says to us that it is an open source machine learning for automated text and voice based conversations. It understanding the messages hold conversation of yours and connect to messaging channels and APIs. In layman term that definition gives you that Rasa is smart enough for holding down your conversation and kept all your conversation into databases. Your databases can be MongoDB database, Redis database and you can make your own custom databases. In last, the Rasa is open source that means it doesn't cost you while developing the bot and they have their great documentation site where you find all the relative information about framework. The documentation is in so a structured manner that you didn't find any difficulty while learning new things. Moving into our next slide. What today's agenda is. First, you get to know why you should learn Rasa. Second, you are going to get familiar with basic terminology used in Rasa framework. Third, get familiar with usually used CLI commands. CLI commands are those commands which you write on terminal. And Fourth thing is that you should build your own chatbot after watching down this video. The first question which strikes into our mind is that why should I use Rasa and why should I learn Rasa. I list down six important factors to you. First one is that it is easy to integrate and customize. So being an open source you will be able to integrate additional features and functionalities as per your requirements. The platform is easy to customize and flexible. It can be modified as per your needs. It also saves a lot of time of yours and help to get exactly what you want. Second point is it is easily integrated to any system without any hassle. This features helps you leverage all the benefits of backend systems and it will help to automate the things. Next is that run it into your favorites. By using Rasa you get the option to run the chatbot or deploy it into your own favorite platform. It support various intent. As of now uh, you remember this thing that Rasa uses a classifier in the backend which classify your input into a particular intent. Thus Rasa support various intents so you can learn this thing. I will covering all this part later. Fifth point is that Rasa connect with other messaging apps. Let's take an example that you have a team of answering the queries of two customers on a particular channel like Facebook Slack or other custom channels. If you are creating a custom AI chatbot uh, then there is a possibility that you may need to launch it on a new channel. This will cause a disruption of your customers who are already used to sending their queries or questions into one channel. To avoid this Rasa allows you to create a system that can connect with your customers on other messaging channels like Facebook, Google Home, Slack and others. The last point is that analytics and report. Rasa provides the options to check various analytics and report of your chatbot. It allows you to generate reports that helps you to get understand how your model is performing onto the user's input. It will generate the confusion matrices, generate some calculation matrices like precision recall and accuracy so you can have more grasp on your training data. Now let's on our next slide which is main components of Rasa. You can assume that itself Rasa is nothing but it is the composition of Rasa NLU and Rasa core. Rasa NLU is just understanding the user messages and Rasa core is used for holding the conversation and deciding what to do next. And let's clear the first picture which is Rasa NLU. Uh, Rasa NLU tries to understand the user messages to detect the intent and entity in the user message. It have different components for recognizing intent and entities. Most of these components have some additional dependencies. In backend uh, Rasa NLU uses two libraries. First one is, is your SPACI 
which is need to be installed separately second one is your tensorflow by default tensorflow is available in rasa now let's take an example that how the rasa nlu work let's say user entered a text which is i need three pizzas of medium size now what rasa nlu does it first classify the text into a intent let's say it classifies it into intent of ordering and it gives you a list of entities which is your pizza count and pizza size so the output of this text is your intent which is ordering and the entities which is pizza count and your pizza size now moving towards rasa core rasa core is responsible to predict the responses as per the user messages by applying machine learning algorithms on it and it is also responsible for triggering the action server for generating the dynamic messages now that's all for the theory part let's jump into coding section